how do you feel? What so are you feeling? Excited. Look how nice it is here. Oh, sun lunchtime. <laughs> hotel here in Mieyang and I've got some vegetable congee which I just added a whole bunch of different things on so spring onion, corn and beans and it is so so good and mum has her noodles which you can make on the spot as well so that's pretty cool so we are going to enjoy our breakfast now before another day of just catching up with family friends and sightseeing and things like that so I'm very excited mm. we're going to be visiting my mum's high school here to Mianjong which is my mom's high school so she met up with her teacher and he's gonna take us for a tour so I'm very excited I've never come before this is really just so special being here and also right there there's a cafeteria which is pretty cool because we don't really have cafeterias where at least where I've been to school in Melbourne and we're just walking up to a basketball court area slash sporting area and this school is so big how do you feel what are so you feeling? Excited. I spent how many years? Six years here on this six campus. Years. But what you've seen now, everything's brand new. Oh, all none of, of the none of the buildings existed when I left. When I studied here, when I left. Oh, really? This is the home to ten thousand hardworking students. Beautiful. I've never seen such a beautiful high school before. They have like a little temple thing going on there and a little waterfall. So pretty. here in Mieyang and it's actually our last full morning here before mum and I head off to another city later this afternoon called Chengdu and it's also a city here in Sichuan province actually it's the capital city of the province so we are very excited for that but at the same time it's very very bittersweet because I know I'm going to miss Mieyang so so incredibly much I feel like we really didn't spend a lot of time here and there's still so much more I want to see but at the same time I'm excited for Chengdu so yeah yeah, it's very bittersweet. So we're just gonna make the most of our last morning here. We're gonna go out again and do a bit more exploring, visit our favorite places, and mum was with her friend at the moment, so we're gonna get going soon. And yesterday, I actually stopped vlogging after lunchtime because I just wanted a little break from vlogging, so I just took the evening off, but we just kind of visited more family friends, had dinner, and yesterday was just super interesting to see a bit of the high school life here in China because whilst I never did high school here, I did actually do a bit of primary school here actually when I was in about grade 3 so it was just interesting to see the difference and also the big difference between schooling here in China and in Melbourne and it just reminded me to just be so grateful for the education that I have and had have because when we walked past the classrooms and I saw the big classes of students of around 50 to 60 students per class and they had really big piles of books on their desks it really just made me realize how grateful I am to have had the education in Melbourne it definitely Definitely is a lot less serious or intense I should say compared to China and I was listening to the conversations that my mum was having with her high school teacher and they were talking about how students generally here wake up at around 5 a.m. start studying around maybe 6 a.m. all until the late late evening and of course this is just a generalization and based on what I heard from their conversation but yeah it just reminded me to be super grateful 
grateful and again it was just a very eye-opening experience and it opened up my perspective so yeah we are going to get going now and then we're going to come back to the hotel pack have lunch and leave for We're just walking through Zhen Ming Gongyang once again and there are so many elderly and middle-aged women just doing tea tao and dancing. I love this little community that they have here. It's just so cute. And this is another part of Zhen Ming Gongyang. There's a big fountain there and this is the place that I loved the most. I think I mentioned this in my previous vlog but yeah just the fountain. I remember that so clearly and then I think that inside there's also rides. I'm not sure if they're still there but look how nice it is here. So we just went over to Da Guan Yuan once again to have a look around and it was really really interesting and cool because over there I actually had a full conversation in Sichuan dialect with a lady there and I've never done that before so it definitely gave me some confidence with the Sichuan dialect but anyway we are checking out of our hotel now and then we're gonna go get lunch my luggage is so heavy for some reason I also have this bag here my carry-on and my backpack but luckily we are going to be driven to Chengdu by a family friend which again is so incredibly kind of them and we're so grateful so let's get going bye hotel We have arrived now here in Chengdu and we just came into an apartment of my mom's friend which was super generous of her so we'll just be staying in here for the next few days and on the way here mom cried Aww. Yeah, I was a bit <laughs> emotional as well It was so hard to leave me and my hometown and so many friends they are almost like family to us mm -hmm. it was very hard for me to leave. <laughs> mm -hmm. They were all so nice and it was great to meet your friends as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. So, but hopefully we can come back in the future. We can always come back. We can always, we come, can back always come back and they are yeah. almost welcome to come to Melbourne to visit us. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. So we are going to still enjoy our next few days in Chengdu, but... <laughs> You need to rest. <laughs> I need to rest. It's actually my brain is a bit uh, Can't even talk. I'm having a bit of a brain fog at the moment because today actually a few days ago My mom felt a bit sick today. I'm feeling sick and I had Tummy to go problem. to the toilet a few times <laughs> A bit too alive, but oh, poor that's things. just the yeah. reality of traveling mm. sometimes especially to another country where the food bacteria is a bit different that's and right. we both yeah. have sensitive stomachs yep. so mm -hmm. We just have to rest. I'm just going to rest for the rest of the evening. Mum's going to go out with friends. Yeah. So you enjoy and yeah, I will. I'll just stay at you, home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just call me if you need me. I'll come back. Okay. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm just having a light dinner now for my stomach. I have some ba bao zhou here. And also some man tol. This used to be my favourite as a little kid. Mum got this for me just then. So I'm going to have this and hopefully my stomach can feel a bit yeah. better. Yeah. It's just a stomach yeah. bug. At the restaurant, I saw this cute little black cat. Yeah. I called him Xiao Hei. Yeah. And he was getting a, getting his uh, fur combed. Yeah. So cute. Aww. Yeah, I touched him Aww. and I said, so I combed him. I said, I'm feeling Aww. comfortable. Yeah. Runs off Bella. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we like cats. Dogs. I find that having rice or porridge like this always helps if my stomach is feeling a bit sick So yeah, I'm just gonna have this for dinner tonight and I will see you guys in the next vlog Thank you so much for watching and tuning into this one I'm not too sure how long this one is gonna be and I know it wasn't very 
<laughs> very out there like my other usual travel vlogs but I am feeling very sick today and I just wasn't in the mood for filming a lot but once again thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next China vlog bye